uh, please start recording because I don't want to miss any of this. So go ahead. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So, so what that means is that, and that's that consciousness that creates planets, it creates your human body, your identity. You know, some people might call it, well, it's your spirit, but you know, it goes much deeper than the traditional, say, definitions or descriptions of a spirit. So, so I go into, say, that consciousness that renders your human body here. And then when you can edit something, you can, when you can edit at that level, you get, say, mass transformations in any area of your life, including, say, reverse aging. People are starting to, say, heal deformities, uh, you know, from birth and all that. And again, I'm not a doctor. I, I don't make any claims, but people are really experiencing, say, transformations coming into their stronger self. So, so is it healing? Uh, no, it's very different. It's actually saying repro it's more of a reprogramming for you. Yeah, because so what's going on right now? We'll jump to what's going on right now. It feels to me, and I heard you say that the human is being upgraded. What I love about that statement is, is that it lets go of all the other stuff going on. If we just yeah. focus on the human and upgrade the human, we don't have to worry about 5G. We don't have to worry about contamination. We don't have to worry about viruses. No. We let go of all of that. And I'm a man, a great man for shortcuts. So I, lo right. I loved when you said that. Um, so what I'm interested in is when you go into that space that you're talking about where you can edit and you can delete, edit and delete, is that what you're saying? You're edit, yeah? Is, yeah, edit what, and delete. Yeah, is what's happening right now, we are shifting to another dimension, I feel. Is, does more of the spirit come into the human body? Is that what's happening? Rather than the human needing to up their game. Just riff on that a bit for me. Exactly. So, so to put it in, say, reference points, so you know, people will really understand it. Um, say, say that great inventions, right? So we're at this level of consciousness. And I wish I had a drawing. We're at this level of consciousness. Uh, say somebody like Tesla would say go to this higher level of consciousness and bring that invention down does that make sense to you mm -hmm. and that's how we've done it throughout the centuries that's how humanity's done it but through this wave that's coming through so that consciousness that say scientists inventors and so get the next best thing that consciousness is literally coming down as an upgrade so so in the near future you'll see you know, inventions, ideas, uh, medical practices, all that from a very, very different level. You're not gonna have, you know, things that destroy society. Those are like archaic inventions. You know, we go 5G, I mean, that's really advanced. It's really not invest if it's destroying the human that designed it, you know, that's just straight out bullshit. So with this new state consciousness that's coming in, it's literally forcing us to be a higher version, a higher version of ourselves. Um, so, so you're going to have better technology things that don't destroy the earth, uh, things that you know uh, move away from pollution, things of moving control, uh, you know, control mechanisms, uh, abuse mechanisms. Those those patterns don't exist in that higher consciousness. It doesn't function. Uh, to put it at, say in another way. Um, uh, which is really cool is that you know and i always use the phone you know back in the day you know they had the 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 line phone you know a phone with an actual physical line you know that you're connected to and then they came into the cellular phone and it was a big clunky thing right it was like a freaking suitcase uh that didn't do much um and now it's gotten better and better now you know we can do amazing things and it's got it's more powerful than you know the computer that sent uh, i think the apollo mission apollo 13 up up into the moon so so that's how powerful it's gotten but over time if you've noticed every upgrade that the phone has had it's let go of say those old patterns right those say although it was good it was a good start but with every upgrade you can't do some of the old things that you used to do on your phone nor would you want to because it's outdated. So humans are actually going through the same process. This is just a major software update for humans. That's, and it's the coolest thing. You cannot say abuse people at, at those deep levels that people used to get abused. Uh, you cannot, because there's no need to. If that makes sense to you. There's just no need to anymore. Mm. So.
that makes sense what we're going yeah. through yeah and i'm just wondering for people at the moment what i'm seeing is so many different levels of consciousness even within yes. my own community like that i run i run a magazine here in ireland and i'm seeing completely different reactions here's a spiritual person saying we really need this lockdown because we're getting to chill out and we're getting to meditate and face our own shadow and another person saying you know i want to get out there i'm not going to be controlled by these people so just so many different reactions right across the board and is it a time for bringing in that vibe of like when we think about people like okay so we'll uh the whole coronavirus it seems to me my intuition was saying to me orchestrated not real don't buy into it okay from the day one the very beginning and that seemed to me a bit nuts but it was what i was being told and i'm just yeah. wondering what is the best reaction mm -hmm. to uh beings that are trying to control is it the classic from jesus turn the other cheek <laughs> um i didn't hear that last bit yeah <laughs> is it the old jesus came out with a great classic when he said turn the other cheek oh turn the other cheek is that the uh, best way to relate or do we need to protest do we need to what's your feeling there what's the more powerful way no and that and that's the key is that in the past you know the lower consciousness that humanity was in was um and if i don't know how much time we have but can we go back say, a little further and, and really set the stage since you're you know um can really say hold on to it so so the, so over time there's always a consciousness that comes through okay uh so like new any new technological advances if you've noticed it comes in waves does that make sense the industrial age uh, uh, technological age, communication age. Now we're just coming into another age, right? So, so why does that happen? People go, well, we've got better inventions. We did this better. We did. No, we didn't. Basically, that consciousness say allowed it kept dropping into this level, and it's like, hey, you have more abilities now. You have more opportunities, right? It's like unlocking, say, another level in a video game, right? Hey, you did really well at this level. Now you get to unlock this next level, you get more tools, more abilities, more say technologies, whatever it is that you want. Okay? So some people are gonna take, take advantage of that technology to control like they did, like in the past, because that's what was needed back in the day. But with this new wave, uh, say the people, and I totally agree with you, I think it was really just set up, it was man-made, uh, from what I'm seeing, it's a man-made virus, uh, and it just got out of hand. Uh, and I think even to people who controlled, it got more out of hand than what they even expected. So, okay. so, uh, and then they don't know what the hell to do. But anyway, th this new consciousness, um, this new consciousness comes in, and this consciousness is about, say, freedom, right? So, and I'll give you a little snippets on how people have taken or misrepresented the new consciousness, uh, not just the coronavirus, but say the freedom, uh, like Google, uh, uh, Facebook, the government, right? The, the consciousness comes in and it's like, we all should be transparent, right? Uh, and then people in the know go, they get into that consciousness and they pick up on that and they go, shit, I, I need to know everything about other people, but nobody can know anything about us. Okay? That consciousness does not exist. The consciousness demands that everybody be transparent. That's the key. So in a very short time, government systems, they can't hide their bullshit. Google and all that people, right? It's going to be a two-way street. Everybody is transparent. Again, blockchain. Where did blockchain technology come out of? Right? That's that new consciousness that comes in that everybody has ownership and everybody is responsible. So we all say unite. So that's what that consciousness demands. As far as COVID goes, again, whether, whether it's a virus, whether it's a bomb, whether it's fucking, I don't know, killer wasps now, now that they're saying or whatever it is, it's something that's going to come through and like fucking awaken everybody. It doesn't matter okay, what happens. Uh, although, say, the leaders or the elites will try to control it, you know, to try to bring whatever they want to bring on. It's not going to work this time around because this consciousness demands transparency. That's what this reality is about, transparency. So whether you're at an elite level trying to control or whether you're at an individual level trying to control, it's not going to freaking work. It's just not going to work anymore. 
all your shadows, all your weaknesses, all those things have to say get exposed. Because again, the consciousness is it's a lighter, more efficient, more dynamic, high performance consciousness. That's why I call it high performance consciousness. It's not gonna allow you to hold on to your crap. Simple as that. You have to say, let it go, you have to grow from it, or you get separated from say this new pack, this new say reality or consciousness that people are moving in. So for those people who are on the path, are you saying to them right now, what they're, what's happening to them is they're, they're on a lovely path, but they're getting over, over, over exposed with too much information coming from all sorts of places. They're worried about the people who believe they're worried about the nefarious vibe. They're worried about the bad vibe. So you're saying the most powerful thing to do is give it no attention. Well, um, I would be an observer and then not get say sucked into it. And then as you become an observer, and this is not just say in say chaos situations, but normal observations start to notice, you know, how you interact with the world, start to notice how you take up space in this reality. It's the most powerful thing that you can do. It's far better than psychology, NLP, or anything that you try to do to improve your life. Once you start to observe, you start to see how you interact with this reality. And then at that time, you can choose to interact the way you need to or want to. So you're not just running old mechanisms of control, uh, whether it comes from your parents or government systems. I wanna, yeah, I want to track you a little bit to your second near-death experience. I presume that was the most significant one. Am I right when I say that? Or were they very... Yeah? Yes, definitely. It went to another level. So yeah. where, where did you go in that, in that experience? Where were you brought to? Uh, did, you meet, did you meet other beings? Did you connect with your higher aspect? How did it unfold? Sure. Um, so on my second year death, and this is what makes me different, because there's a lot of near-death experiences daily that happen, um, you transcend, say, the so-called tunnel, tunnel of light. And it is, it's not necessarily a tunnel, but the brilliance is so, say, well, it's so brilliant, it looks like a tunnel of light, but it's just expansive light all over. So you graduate, and what that tunnel of light is, literally the beginning or the intro, you know, the door to it is like, you know, there's loved ones around you that meet you and all that. I bypassed all that. So there's all these different levels that you go up to. And basically you go to those levels and then you awaken and transcend into a pure spirit. So you remove distortions of time and space and you become your limitless self or your timeless self. Again, a pure, pure concentrated spirit. Um, so which is... It's beyond explanation, but it, it's the amount of joy and love that you experience at that level compared to here would be, say, a million, billion times stronger than anything that you can experience here. It's, it's, and it's just raw love. It's just beautiful. Um, but so I transcended that. Uh, so graduated. And you're not supposed to literally come back into this realm, but somehow I sneak back in. So, but at that level, you have access to all knowledge that's there, uh, whether it's in the past, you know, before, like in the present or, you know, after, you have access to all knowledge because there's no time there. Um, uh, at that level, uh, again, there's no time. So you can be and you are all that there is. You get to see the grandness. Um, it's almost like a universe of itself. And then in that transition, uh, you know, you still have that, say, that identity of human form. Uh, and again, this is what makes me different as well. Because um, you still have, say, resonances of a human form, but you're, in your spirit being, there's no form, right? You are an encompassing being. So I let go of that even. And I call that the beautiful blue space. But uh, you go into that realm, and it's a, it's, it goes, it goes beyond say no time, and, and at that level, you literally feel like you are a universe of your own, uh, and you have access, like I said, to anything that you need or want, but you don't want anything because you have everything that that is ever there. Was it a? Did you receive messages, or did you just receive such a powerful feeling? That you felt like no, you, you are the, yeah you are the message you don't receive you are part of that mess you are the being okay. that makes sense you are say everything that is there that's you 
to view art, everything that is created, let's say. And you came back with more gifts, did you? More gifts that you were able to use here? Right, it took me about uh, a couple of years, say Dark Nights of the Dark Soul, where you say shed away the distortions or the physicalness of our identity here. You know, like if you ask somebody who they are, it's like, well, I'm a teacher, I'm this, I'm that, you know, or I'm ill, or, you know, I'm so-and-so's spouse, you know, all those things. You know, you remove yourself um, from all that. There's no separation, and that's what I do here, is that most people think of their physical identity and their spirit identity, right? Uh, two identities. Uh, and then most religions and, or most people go, well, if I, when I die, uh, I'm going to experience who, who I really am. It's like, no, in this consciousness, you experience who you really are here in physical form. So you live out of your grander version or more of your potential, uh, as I call it. So you are one. So right now, I operate as one. There is no me. There's no, not my higher self. I am just who I am. Uh, and it's, and it's, well it gives you fantastic abilities um, to transform people, not only my life, but other people. Uh, it allows you to edit space and time because that's what it's, the mechanics. Um, it's not really about love or anything like that, although that's a byproduct of it. Um, it's not anything, say, spiritual, although that's a byproduct of it. Uh, those are all byproducts of, say, connecting with your higher form or becoming present in space and time. So you're, I'm getting the feeling that you're able to access, we're all talking now about being able to access a fifth dimension. You're able to access multi-dimensions. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we all live in multi-dimensional layers, but you want to live from that top layer. Which would be, like, are we saying, like, is there a number on that or is it just a... Um, well, that, would, what, from what I'm tapping into you, uh, you know, the fifth dimension is still a conscious, say, material or physical density. But what I'm talking about would go beyond that into more of a consciousness dimension. I don't know what label or what number that would be, but it would be way beyond fifth dimension. Okay. Okay. And um, when you um, when you have a near death experience. Um, and you see these other realms. I'm just wondering, have you come across other, do you feel other teachers like other sages like Ramana Maharshi, uh, Eckhart Tolle, people like this, have they, are they tapping into those kind of levels as well? Uh, has there been someone on the planet who's tapped into those kind of levels? Um, yeah. Um, and I'm not just going to say specifically, but one thing you have to watch out for is again there's a lot of people that can tap into that stuff but they might not they might tap into it from say a, a, a not a benevolent space more of a control space okay so there's two different layers that you can go the bright side and the dark side you want to be right in the middle right so you got to watch out for that uh and then what you want to do is like you transcend the bright and the dark or the polar opposites here or extremes here because there has to be duality in this reality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that makes sense to create time and space to reference because this reality is about reference point that's all it is right so so again those individuals uh from what i've seen uh other than a handful would be of still of a physical realm so they would see that so they would see or peer into what the possibilities could be. Um, I guess the difference between you know them and I is that I can actually say tap into those possibilities and access those possibilities and you know um, um, materialize from those possibilities. I'm just wondering, um, how do you feel about the human now? Are you inhabiting a, a video game, an avatar? Are you just playing a human game? for what reason what purpose and how do you view the human aspect oh me personally you personally yeah your own human aspect why are yeah. you doing it oh why am i doing it really good question so um so as talk as far as talking about say other leaders and so on like that you know i did a i did an event just a couple of weeks ago where there was higher say i wouldn't say higher intelligence because we're all of the same 
intelligence, you know, if we were of our pure spirit. Uh, if you want to call them aliens, that's cool too. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't look at them as aliens the way people, you know, describe aliens. Um, but anyway, um, so those beings like literally showed up and they came in and they actually gave me these like, really fantastic technologies on say improving the human body, the blood structure, the bone structure and all that. Um, and just within those two weeks, people have had say miraculous events on uh, creating better blood, like literally going to labs work and like their blood changed, uh, their bone structures changing. So, so I do get say other realities or other consciousness again just like tesla would go into say another consciousness and tap that in so these higher beings or i went into those levels and then brought those down uh, or pull those into human mm -hmm. so I, I see the human as a beautiful framework it's a, it's a masterpiece uh, if you're seeing your, yourself from the spirit it's like amazing what you can do with form and function what the human body is so damn advanced but then I see, I see the potential of humans, and then I see what humans are using their potential for, and I'm going, like, what the fuck? It's like you're driving a Lamborghini, but you, you think like, you know, you have this Lamborghini, but you, you think like you have this little, you know, piece of shit automobile that you're driving and using and stuff. It's like, no, dude, you are this fantastic piece of machinery. You could use it to, you know, better use, put it to better use. So that's what really say disheartens me. You know, people don't have to control or destroy or anything like that. Because if you knew the the unlimited potential or resources, and I'm not talking about just say love and stuff like that. I'm talking about advanced technologies. I'm talking about say money um, in its proper form. You know, I'm talking about say real abundance, like feeling say the luxury and the completeness of who we are without destroying anything. That's what physicalness of this reality not just you know let's just all sing kumbaya and all that stuff and then we'll feel good and live in our caves no i'm not talking about that i'm talking to say advanced technologies advanced luxury way beyond what this world sees without the distortions because that's our, our that's what our potential is so it really saddens me where people have to abuse you know they have to child traffic they have to you know prostitute themselves they have to you know work their asses off and whatever they believe in you know, to really shortchange who they are, you know, thinking that that's a good life for them. Mm, mm. You wouldn't create this much abundance in you, uh, or even create, say, the nature around you to go, yeah, uh, you know, I, I need to be dominated and uh, vilified, right? To be that, say, that good person. You don't need that shit. Mm, mm. That's old stuff. But anyway, that's my rant for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that we're moving though into this into this kind of new age i suppose it's so uh it's so mm -hmm. exciting you know for humanity um oh totally. and, yeah and i want to touch a little bit on the extraterrestrial thing or mm -hmm. i get why you're saying they're not aliens because they're just more highly evolved beings in a sense i feel right. um i get a great okay. sense of them um around at the moment and lots of people talking about them and mm -hmm. uh different races, different flavors. But there was a, a thing I heard recently about the connection between Lemuria and Atlantis. Do you tie into any of that kind of information at all? Yeah, uh, I, don't get, I don't get the names, but yeah. they're different beings, different levels. Um, and even like the US government said that uh, they actually release tapes that there are like UFOs out there. Mm. So they actually release tapes, which is very exciting. So again, all the truth that's coming out I mean, you're going to see a lot of truth come out. A lot of it is destructive, you know, and a lot of good things coming out that you know, might be hidden. More and more people will have more abilities, more intuition. They go, shit, I knew I was right, you know, because they can actually validate that, um, which is really exciting. Uh, there's a newness that's coming out. Um, I can talk a little bit about how I see aliens, because yeah. if you don't know. Mm -hmm. So aliens, um, a lot of people think that, you know, we're dumb and then higher advance or higher knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, in reality, we're all the same. If you remove, say, the physical component or the time function that we are here, so we represent ourselves as human form. That makes sense to you? But our spirit is still the same as an alien spirit in this time-space function. And let's just call that a 24-hour 
say definition. We'll just label it as a 24 hour definition. Because there's different universes that work on say different space time, say, um, you know, formulas. And so they're, they're a little different. But even them, they have say an original spirit that's the same. So they're no different than any of us. It's just like being black, yellow, green, you know, white, whatever it is. Our sense of self is still the same. So, so again, it's the same. They just different. They have different realities or mm -hmm. different, say, densities. In this reality, in this Earth reality, it's the densest form that, say, a spirit or an alien has like transformed himself. Sure. So, in reality, humans are actually highly advanced aliens, so to speak, or beings that have figured out to create this much density, but it's a new world. You know, like Elon Musk always talks about going to Mars. Like if we went to Mars, we would, compared to the life that we have here, right? It would look pretty primitive, but to have a civilization that can say transcend themselves and, and live in Mars, that's pretty freaking amazing, right? So although to other people, if you just look at those individuals living in Mars now, it's like, hmm, they look pretty primitive. Like, yeah, but look at the technology that got them there. So that's the way I see Earth being. So the other aliens, yes, they're smarter. They have more capabilities. But we would, too, if we didn't have, say, this much density to dumb us down. Does that make sense? Okay. So, so if we, and that's the challenge here, and that's what we're all about. It's not about saving the whales or, I don't know, bringing up a new invention. Because that, that stuff's already thought of. It's in the consciousness, you know. Uh, who was saying one of the great adventures? They were saying it's like inventions and thoughts are like, you know, like we're like radio waves, you know. You just pick that up in the air and that you materialize them. That's what humans are it's in the air. Um, um, but not to get too far away from it. Um, what was I saying? So, so the key or the concept or what we're here for is like, how do you elevate yourself to say an alien level intelligence? and still say have this form and function that we have here. Because most alien frequencies uh, um, that are out there, you know, they don't have to learn the pleasures of say density and touch and emotion and, you know, and, and feelings and anything like that. Uh, they don't have, they don't experience say the love or the interconnection between people and spirits like that. They don't, they don't do that. They can't do that. So, so that's why they really say interested in our new technologies that we have here. And we're interested in how they stay at that level. So we're, it's kind of like a mix. So they're helping us, you know, ascend to their higher level of say creating. Uh, and, and, uh, and they're, yeah, they're interested in how we create so well. And we're interested on say their knowledge and intelligence that they have at that higher level that we do but we need to say come in. And that's what this new say wave is coming into that we're all say ascending to a higher frequency, a less dense frequency. That's what that means. Less dense basically means that we're turning into say, well, a higher consciousness, a higher level, but with the same density. Does that make sense? So more, um, just like new fabrics that are coming up, they're, they're, they're lighter, they're, but they're stronger than ever, they're warmer than ever, but they're light, very light. This reality is creating itself in that form as well, with more probabilities or more opportunities. I'm very interested in healing technology within myself and within humans. Mm -hmm. And uh, I get the feeling that if an extraterrestrial gets ill, which he probably wouldn't in the first place, he would have the ability, if he saw something within himself that he needed to fix or herself that he needed to fix, there's a way of doing it. And in a, in a weird sense, in meditations lately, I've been getting a sense that I know how to do this, but I just can't remember how to access it. Um, and I'm just wondering, in your, it, it, it ha like us humans, you know, if we look at the medical system right now, it's definitely not serving us. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not serving us. That's uh, it's kind of an understatement. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's not serving us. If we break our arms, maybe it probably is. But I'm just wondering, what is that inner technology that you would say to someone who was just starting out, here's a few things mm -hmm. that you can do. Um, there's one meditation I saw you do online and you ask people to tune into their skin. And I did mm -hmm. it while you were doing it. And it did, it did create something different in, within myself. Yes. 
in that moment. Could you talk about our own inner, inner healing technology and the fastest ways that we can connect to that? Yeah, I'm glad you bring that up um, because I don't heal you in any way. And that's why I don't consider myself a healer. But what I do do, and I, again, I'm not against any say medical intervention, especially with what you said, if you have a broken yeah. arm, but you know, we could improve ourselves. First thing is not to get ill, you know, transcend because because viruses, illnesses, and all that are lower level frequencies. Those are the things that we're moving away from, by the way. Um, so, uh, but what I do do best is bring your own innate healing memory that you have your natural say, essence to heal and create yourself. This goes to the point that people like in the future can actually like literally regrow arms or limbs and all that stuff. Uh, and I can talk about that um, uh, as well just, just in a bit. But to answer your question, the best thing you can do is, is one, uh, be totally, again, it goes back to, uh, and this goes beyond mindfulness and public moment stage or anything like that but observe how you interact with time and space. So observe, and I know it sounds really weird because most people want to go outside of their space to say access that mentality. It doesn't work out for you because you leave time and space. So let me just explain time and space for you. The more present you are, and even you being a human form, that's a distortion in time because you're not really here. You're rendering that as a lens. That makes sense to you? So imagine all the lenses that you have, your human form, you know, you're a guy or a woman, uh, you know, the date, the time frame that you were, say, born in, um, the abuse patterns that your parents went through, so on and so on. So your spirit is here, you're rendering yourself here, all the freaking filters in between. Okay? So what you're asking is like, okay, if you want, if how do I get my healing abilities? Well, you remove all the filters that you think you are, especially abuse patterns, things of that nature. So your rendering is supposed to be here. Your body is rendered here because, again, all those filters. So what you want to do is become observant of how you interact with this reality. So what I tell you to do is, like, um, you know, notice time references or spatial references for you, especially those who are anxious or depressed or even, like, suicidal. Um, start to notice say space spatial references so when you walk into a room or wherever you are go oh the door is over there i'm over here you never want to go i'm over here and the door is over there because literally you'll you'll create your you'll render yourself like out there while your body's here so always reference say the windows over there i'm over here it's like again like gps it's like trilocation for GPS, right? It hones in on where you are. And I know it sounds really strange, but give it a try for like 15 minutes, five minutes. So all I'm saying is there's a window in front of me now and I'm saying there's a window there and here am I sitting here. Normally I would just say there's the window there, but you're saying say yep. hello. Yeah? Yep. So because like you- In relation, in relation. Yeah. Even when you said that, did you notice that you, you like transposed yourself towards the, the window? Yeah. That makes sense to you. So, but when you go say the window is there, my chest is here. So get really body specific at first, and sure. you'll see if like, and you know people are anxious all around us, especially with this COVID stuff going on. Right, there's a lot of chaos. People who practice exponential intelligence, what I call XI, is like they're going. It's like shit. The more chaos that there is, the more say, the more say focused that I am. Right? And it's like, should I be worried, Moss? Because everybody else around me is all, they're all messed up, they're all anxious enough. But it's like, why am I so like, just spot on and even brighter and happier? Well, that's why, because you're using, say, reference points of time to pull you into time even more. So again, so, and again, it sounds like a strange concept, but just give it a try and you'll see what I mean. It's like, oh shit, that's so cool. Because you start to remove all those filters that you think you are, and you become more and more present. And as you do, your natural healing self comes through. And you might think that's crazy, but you know, when you go to nature, just like raw nature, uh, do you notice that there's a presence that consumes you? That you're just like aware, if that makes sense to you? you? And you can't get out of it, right? You just can't get out of it. That, what that is, is present moment time. That's all it is, because nature is so consistently 
well, present. It can't go into the future. It can't go into the past like humans do. That's why they were, that's why they're completely abundant. That's why nature is always abundant and it's always timeless. Nature, like a million years ago, a million years into the past, into the future, nature will look pretty much the same because it's present. It'll always feel the same. Uh, you are that timeless being as well. So, and that, and again, when you go into nature, that's why it's so relaxing, it's more calming because you get to become more present and you let to say shed away your problem. So you can do that out of nature, by the way. So just practice that and you'll see amazing results. Yeah, and the skin as well. And is that, that ties into what you're talking to. Can you just give me a little bit more depth on the exponential intelligence, um, the term that you use there. That's your program that you use now to train people in um, right. using exactly. meditations and, and different exercises. How does that work? Now? What way does that work? Um, so, uh, so what I talked about is the initial say, structure of you coming into your identity. Right? And then exponential intelligence is the body knowledge that I talked about uh, on my second year death, the blue space. That's all that information that you need. Basically, it's a human, it's more than a human handbook. It's a universal handbook on, say, the physics of this reality. It's simply as that. So if you understand the handbook, you're going to become totally, not just abundant, but wildly abundant beyond your belief system. Uh, and then, say, you get the grander version of who you are at the same time. So you get to see the grander person. So it's a body of knowledge that allows you to understand how the physics of this reality is created. So just to give you a little more clarity, you have Newtonian physics, right? Which is the bigger things of this reality, you know, like uh, gravity and so on like that. Um, uh, how your blood pressure works and all that, right? Those are all based on say the Newtonian physics, right? Underneath Newtonian physics, there is uh, quantum physics and it works very different that reality or that world works very different than the quantum physics that makes sense to you mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, and then you go into what i would call pure physics so that's where xi would be so that's that that's that what you were talking about say the fifth dimension that's that transitional layer where uh the consciousness or no time identity of who you are your spirit uh, intermixes with the time-bound identity of who you are or the filters that you've created yourself, including your human form. So that's the underlying, say, physics that dictate quantum physics and then dictates, say, Newtonian physics. So if you can handle that level and understand it, um, you'd be totally abundant. Uh, let me just hit the light uh, for a second because uh, I'm ahead of you here, so it's a little bit darker. Hang on one second. Yep, yep, no worries. I should do that too. Um, that's a bit brighter now. Yep. So um, we'll probably go for another 10 minutes. Is that okay, Mas? Mm -hmm. 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say. Are you in lockdown yeah. there? Are you kind of in lockdown? Is it, is it very strict where you are? Mm, not i'm in minnesota so they're pretty relaxed about it you know people go to the parks and everything like that but yeah you know you can take the lockdown as you know they're really forcing it upon me but i think for many people who do xi it's like really a blessing because they get to understand more about themselves and who they are so it really allows you to you know um you know people it really allows you to understand who you are at a deeper level so i think this lockdown is going to have the reverse effect of say the 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 elites trying to control you yeah. because people start to understand who they really are and they're going shit i'm not taking this shit anymore <laughs> you know and they're going to force you know um back uh, all the control mechanisms so yeah it's going to be a fantastic time it really is and i've never seen anything leak so much in the middle of it normally in our society things leak after the fact i think if jfk was assassinated now we would know tomorrow who did it that's the way the time frame seems to be going it's extraordinary exactly. like there's doctors coming out everywhere youtube it's like 20 30 a day saying this is not not real so that's the reason why these i love what you said earlier because it's almost like i had an old computer recently and it would say that this this browser is not supported so when somebody mm -hmm. pops in control the new yeah. 5d system is going to say we no longer support this 
uh, piece of software. That's yep. so empowering. Yeah, it, it's so crazy. It's so beautiful because this new consciousness, again, will not support control mechanisms or anything. So 5G and all that stuff, you'll start, and these are my predictions that have been really accurate. Actually, I was accurate on the virus. Uh, something yeah, will happen. Yeah. I'd actually um, love a time frame if you had a time frame on this period for us. Yeah, that was about two and a half years ago. I predicted that the, a major, say, uh, like some kind of virus will come through where like we've gotten so out of center, um, you know, nature or, or this consciousness, if you go way too out of center, it'll slam the hell out of you. It'll, it'll, got, it'll let you go, it'll let you go. And it's just like a rubber band. You, you stretch it, you stretch it, and then you get to that tipping point. And then what happens is like, it's like, okay, you're way too far, and it's just like, boom, and that's what we're doing. We're literally like stopping time in today's society because no, nothing's happening. We're stopping time, and we're like recalibrating. So that's, that's a lot of power coming through. Um, so I predicted that. I predicted even like the COVID virus, it's not really a flu mechanism. It's more like altitude sickness, uh, you know, high altitude and really, you say, deep level altitude. It's more of that where your blood starts to break down. Um, and, and I'm not a doctor, but uh, hyperbaric chambers for COVID people, because the virus is real, but it's not as bad. Uh, hyperbaric chambers would actually do good for people rather than anything else they've tried. And what, um, what time span do you see for us to shift into the fifth? Do you see it happening? Oh, yeah. Very so by the end of May, you'll see this thing disappear. Right. Uh, in the May, beginning of June, uh, you'll see that's like, it's all of a sudden it's like it's not that bad or like people start rolling in and, and it's like uh you know and then the wars might start back up or say some other thing that will change the focus yeah. off COVID, and people will you know they'll try to forget because you know their plan of say controlling masses uh probably it didn't work although they'll try another time but again it's not going to work it's the consciousness again it's not being supported like you said um but if we're, uh, if we're downloading at the moment mass into the fifth will we be downloaded by 2022 yeah. 2023 what do you see yeah so you'll see a great expansion coming into this next year uh from what i'm seeing so like the economies will be robust and so on like that but it's really not about that it's just that um and the covid virus again just to be just to read it um, the financial systems were so bankrupt and so corrupt uh, that they had they needed another loan, another stimulus. So they create something that really halts the world. And you'll see that this is my prediction: because of the COVID virus, uh, we're going to have to say shift our money uh, or remunerate the money system or whatever it is. You know, again, it's all because of finance. Um, uh, and they so they use it. The finances were messed up way before, but. Again, it's just an excuse to go, hey, you know what? We need more loans. We need this. We need this. We need to bank, you know, pull more out. So, so that's what's happening. But again, that, it's not going to happen the way they predict. So you'll see a great expansion into, say, the new year, 2021, where you're going to see, say, the economies rise, you know, people going back to work. Uh, but it's a false expansion. And then uh, because mostly because of the presidential campaign here in the US, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see that rise. And then, so they'll try to say bolster the financial industry uh, and bolster the economy. But again, what I call detox, when people go through my say, uh, XI meta healings and so on, people sure. go through detox, they start to face the reality that they can't hold on to their bullshit. Anymore. That's what it's all about. And then what do you do, right? You know that it's right there in front of you, but you know, you go, God, this is, this is true. I, I have to keep this. And you know, you're not going to let go. So those elites are not going to let go, but you get to the point where just like XI, it gets pulled out of you. And then that's where it starts to falter. Um, and it sounds like a doomsday scenario. It's not the old garbage blocks, you know, the old garbage like gets pushed away. You start to see a sense of say grandness, a sense of feeling strong. Like many people right now, they feel that through, you know, what I call, again, the XI program. Uh, they're seeing that grandness as, you know, their world, their old distortions fall apart. So humanity as a whole are, are gonna, is going to see that. And that starts 2021.
it's a really great time for expansion. I mean, it really, so you want to get as strong as you can so you ride the wave now. So when you're in it in 2021, you're going to go farther because it's a magnification process, by the way. It's an exponential progression. So the higher you are here, it's like any magnification. Say if I'm at 100 and this magnification wave comes through, say, at 1,000, well, you're going to get magnified, what is it, 100 times, 10,000? Oh, it is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, ten, ten, hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand. You'll be magnified, say, hundred thousand of them. But if you're at a one and a magnification comes at, say, a thousand, you're only going to get magnified at one. So, and that's where that disparity you'll see. Um, you know, so more. It gives and more everybody what they can handle. Is that what you mean? It gives everybody yeah. what they can handle. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Although it's equal for all, it depends yeah. on where you are. So. So it's a great magnifier and it's really beautiful. Do people get healing crises a lot when they work with you? Is that part of the kind of flavor? Healing crises? Um, if, you have a, if you have a session with someone like you, yeah. it's gonna bring up so much stuff that you've been holding on to. Are, are people able to deal with that or does sometimes it overwhelm them? Or do you, can you see how much you're doing to them? So you say, well, I'm not gonna go too far here. How do you, you know, measure that? Yeah, so we do have programs like for the beginners and then accelerated advanced individuals. So I, I caution you uh, again, take if you're new, take the beginner programs. But yes, as my abilities have grown, again, I get magnified more and more as you know, this clarity comes through. So um, people change dramatically. People who might have had, you know, working with, I don't know, therapists or whatever, 20, 30 years, like within one session now like 10 minutes it's it's just like all their shit just totally comes up in front of their face and for some people depending on who you are and those individuals um if you're controlled controlling or in fear those individuals have a harder time with say the sessions because that identity is is deleting as they're using so, so say that you're in fear all the time or sure. you've been abused all the time, controlled, right? So, so that is your structure that you say created. Well, that, that has to delete for you not to feel any fear or abuse. But since that's your identity, whether you like it or not, it's deleting from you. So it, it's a little harder. To me, I, 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 I compare it to you can't really delete a program like on a computer if you're using that program. So it's a little harder. Does that make sense? Right? Mm -hmm. You have to think shut down program. So basically you literally get shut down. Uh, so, uh, and then the program gets deleted and then it's like you start to realize that you don't have fear anymore. So those individuals, and it's a small percentage, um, go through a harder time of say what I call detox. But most individuals, they see their challenges. You know, they see the shadows that they've buried down. Uh, deep inside and they look at it and it's like shit I don't need that in my life anymore and, and it's just like it just deletes it from them. and it's not psychology or anything you don't have to create mantras or you don't have to go into a state change you just see the programs literally it's like you have a billion apps um, well maybe not that many but, but, well actually that many uh, but you have a ton of apps let's just say yeah. that are on your system you know patterns of you know, abuse, uh, patterns of, say, joy, patterns of how you make love, patterns of how you see money, all those apps, right? And you see a lot of them don't function well because they, they might have functioned a long time ago. They might have functioned for your grandparents, but they don't function well for you. you know, mm -hmm. So let's just upgrade those apps. And you literally see it like, oh, I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. And you just keep saying, nope, nope. And then new ones start to form. It is that easy. It, it's the hardest thing that you'll ever do because you have to be really, you have to, it's not you have to, you get forced to be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm going um, to, I'm going to come to an end soon. Do you mind hanging on after I stop the record and we'll just have a brief chat? Is that okay? Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Just to say to you, um, what are you working on right now? Is there anything, is there a book coming out, a course, anything mm -hmm. you just want to let us, let people know about at the end here? Um, and where to go for information. Yes, so so a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, we're doing Moss's Meta Healing Sundays. Again, it's a free call. Uh, 
it's you'd be amazed at how fast your life transforms. Although it's a group call, uh, and you know, got thousands of people on it, um, you'd be amazed at how fast, and you'd be amazed at how how much of the frequencies that I'm generating at those levels. Because the more people uh, I have, the more the stronger that the frequencies get. Um, and even now, on even I, and this might be recorded, people might be listening to it. You'll actually. I think most people will actually feel or feel different just listening to this uh, interview. Um, what I'm working on now is really getting out into the public eye. Um, so we are getting setting up courses, but they're mostly online because of the COVID um, on say really connecting to your higher self. So there's different levels. One is, you know, healing you or repairing you. So XI in, if I, if you don't mind, if I can explain this mm -hmm. uh, really quick. So, so XI actually begins when you are, say, an advanced individual. Okay. So, but most people use XI as a detox tool or you know an aid to heal themselves. That's not where XI is about. XI is like, so it's, um, let me give you an analogy. So, you're you're a person, you're overweight, you know, you've never exercised or taking care of yourself and now you want to run a marathon right so most people use xi to get you into shape and get you into that perfect weight so xi starts when you become say that seasoned athlete and that's where it comes really fun um and, and that's where you get to see your potential so i'm really working on more high performance type individuals people who are really say gung-ho they want to know the expansiveness of the human potential so focusing more on that versus uh, you know, healing people, or you know, uh, and again, I'll always be doing that, um, but more and more into the high performance uh, modules. And I'm really pushing, um, you know, um, pushing say old patterns of say self improvement. Um, that's really coming up for me because that needs to happen again because the truth happens. And again, I'm not knocking psychology or. But, you know, there's even a challenge, um, challenging, but, you know, people like Tony Robbins and, you know, Brenda Burchard and um, George Spencer, the they're fantastic individuals, but they sound, I'm sorry, what? Did you mention Joe Dispenza there? Yeah, Joe Dispenza yeah. and any of those individuals. And again, I'm not knocking down their methods or anything like that, but uh, my challenge to them is that you give me any their worst clients and give me like five ten minutes with them and, and i can radically change their lives you give me their best clients that have transformed uh with those types of individuals or anybody out there and i can guarantee you that i can say transform them even to a higher level so within like 15 minutes so so and, and again i'm not knocking them down it's just like those are old technologies we need to get into new technologies those are surface level technologies you know, we need to get down to the core level functioning of who we are. And then Joe Dispenza, Tony Robbins, and all those individuals, great individuals, the October, all those methods would work, say, more efficiently if we can get to the garbage and delete that. They just don't get to the garbage level. They're working from the outside in. I'm working from the inside out. So together, combined, those technologies would work really well. But without, say, eliminating anything, uh, you know, without XI, those technologies are, it's like taking a horse and carriage where you could be in a, you know, a, a, a high performance. So. There's something about using neuroscience and, and you accessing the brain and listening to guided meditations that keeps you in a certain space. Uh, yeah. Like what, do you feel it's better to just meditate in total silence? Do you, is that, would that be something you would advocate for people? Lots of people are using guided yeah. meditations. I'm just wondering what your take is on those. Um, most people who use guided meditation, it's not what you're learning. The content would be really good, but the way the human being works or the memory or consciousness works is that you're absorbing that person's say distortions as well. So, so, so it's not as beneficial. I would prefer you to do what I told you earlier, just reference where you are compared to where other objects are compared to where you are, as you take a walk in nature, that's really that's really beneficial. It gets you out of your head, it gets you in your body where your spirit needs to be. So that's really well. Uh, I do do guided meditations, but it's very different than your normal meditations because 
I drop you into deep states within, say, a minute or two. Even if you're not, even if you don't, say, meditate really long. Uh, it literally, like, I say, force you into those deeper states of who you are. And at that level, I can help you reprogram. So my meta healings or meditations are very different than, than normal meditation. But yeah, med meditation is fantastic for you. You just want to do it the right way. Yeah, when you're actually sitting in silence, do you think you should use the spatial thing a little bit as well just to get yourself into that space? Yeah. That's okay. the best thing for you. You don't want to clear your mind because most people who try to clear their mind fail. Uh, the best way to clear your mind is to be not on all those realities or open all those things at once. What you want to do is be spatial. So, And that's just spatial references, but notice, say, the lighting as you notice your body. Notice how the lighting comes into you, even if your eyes are closed. Notice the sounds around you. Pay attention to the sound as you pay attention to your body. Where is it coming from? Um, so those are all the five senses, even the taste in your mouth as you're, say, sitting quietly meditating. If you start to notice all those, because those things are happening in the present moment, it forces you to render yourself in the present moment. And it's really powerful. And your meditation, you'll see that you'll get more out of your meditation sitting quietly than ever before. Okay, we'll put your website in the links. And I'm just going to tell people that we have a, you'll be in the next issue of our magazine, Positive Life. So they just go to positivelife.ie um, to yes. see that article. And uh, we'll post below in the comments, uh, mm -hmm. websites for Mass, websites for us. Thanks yeah. everybody for tuning in here. And uh, Mass. If, if you go to masajadi.com, forward slash yeah. free, free meditations um you can download three i think it's three meditation uh two of them are uh anxiety it's not about uh a band-aid on anxiety it's about deleting anxiety and uh depression uh, and they're free and they're free meditations they're like seven to ten minutes long you can actually experience how effective that is for, for you and then also the grander version of who you are so there's three free download meta healings for, for those who are interested. Again, it's masajani.com forward slash free meditations. And it's also an invite for you for the Sunday um, uh, meta healings as well. That's right. Brilliant, brilliant. We'll check all that out. Thank you so much, Mass. I'm just going to